Made some progress this weekend, Paul Ferrat. Should have drawn mm. this thing closer. Okay. Look what I... Is this an anti-deer trap you've created? Some kind of a moat around your... Oh, there you go. What's that? Oh, man, yes. it's a soldering iron, but so... what... What? Remember what my headphones? Doing? Oh. So there's good news. There's mm -hmm. bad news. Okay. So I open these things up. How did because... they come apart? Did you have to unscrew, unglue anything, or what's the... Oh, yeah. Well, mostly screws. Actually, all screws. There's some, like, mm -hmm. little clips you had to pop for the ear cups. Okay. So the good news is I brought them back to life. They mm -hmm. they now work with a right. massive caveat. So they work. The Bluetooth turns on. It connects to my PC. I can listen to audio. I can do whatever. However, the noise canceling does not work right now, and I can't... That's see. interesting. Yeah. And, it, and how do you even identify what that component is or whatever. Right. So there's microphones in each huh. ear cup that I can see. I can see the ribbons running to the device. I've unplugged them and replugged them back in. Yeah. This one, this might be much more difficult to triage than does it turn on or off? Cause I solved that problem. So my first thought was maybe when I soldered, I unsoldered the wires for that, which maybe is the case, but we'll see. We'll see how far I can get. I mean, worst case scenario, these are going to go to my kid. And then she'll just have Bluetooth headphones that are very nice, but however. <laughs> right. Huh. You know, this is, um, nobody wants to talk about this for a long, long time, but man, I could go on for a million years about this kind of stuff because I'll, I'll go to the gym and I have these uh, little Bose mm -hmm. noise canceling earbud things. And um, I don't know, nine times out of 10, uh, 18, uh, 19 out of 20, however you want to say it, you know, pop them in. The sound, I'm listening to something like a podcast in the car, it switches right over to them. I walk into the gym, I do my thing, and everything's fine. But every once in a while, I'll pop those in, and it will sound only come out of one ear. You know? And mm -hmm. it's like, I, I, you have to sit, I, and then you sit there in the car like an idiot, you know, for some amount of time, popping them in the case, out of the case, you know, do, uh, disconnecting Bluetooth, whatever you do. We bought these G JBL speakers here, um, Charge 5, I think they're called. They're about this big. Yeah. Uh, they sound great by themselves. I bought two for stereo. Um, I noticed from a restaurant we go to in Pennsylvania who had that has similar speakers. They can, and I talked to them about it. They can stereo pair, so JBL has a little app, and you can turn on this feature with stereo, whatever yeah. doesn't matter what it's called. And so both of these things, I, uh, you know, we we go out and we listen to music either in here or outside or whatever, and um, most times it works fine, you know. But uh, Bluetooth has lots of problems. Right. One of the problems is you're listening to music through Bluetooth and you get like a a thing on your phone and the, the notification comes flying out of the speakers at full volume or you switch apps like I want to post something on Instagram and then sound just shuts off because it's like, oh, maybe you want to do something with sound in Instagram. I never do. So I'm like, all right, well, obviously the thing to do here is to pair them with an iPad or my Android phone and not worry about these problems. Mm -hmm. Dude, I spent. 30 minutes on Friday or Saturday, it doesn't matter. It would not see the other speaker. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is technology. Like this is, this is the, the world we've signed up for, you know? And I, 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 again, I have a million examples, but these are things that just yeah. come, they're both sound related. Like, as you're talking about headphones, right? And this is what it's like. This is the world, <laughs> you know? It's, it's, it, I know, it's a first world problem. I get it. I'm just saying, Slightly it's a, different. we have signed up for a life of frustration. Why doesn't stuff just work? Well, why I could give a reason just probably why kiss, my kiss sound doesn't work. I know, but your headphones worked every day. Like, in other words, one day, oh, yeah. you, plug, you plug them in and they're like, whatever sound they're making. And you're like, why today? Yeah. What, what changed that triggered that? You know, they should just keep going. I think it was a physical connection. That was a rhetorical question, but know, you know what I'm saying. I <laughs> just, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so I'll keep yeah. putzing around with that, see if I can fix them. And uh, yeah, the problem is, is that it's the little node <laughs> point is I love it. so tiny. You're, you're, you're so industrious in a way that I am not also, which I love. And um, I also want to ask my wife, I don't remember this. We were walking through somewhere in Mexico City. I'm going to ask. Hey, Steph, do you remember I, I pointed to a guy in Mexico City here and I said, that's the Brad Sams of Mexico City. He was oh, fixing God. something. 
No, no, this is a compliment. Do you yeah. remember who? She doesn't remember either. Anyway, the, the point was, there was a guy. <laughs> he was fixing something. Very industrious. Uh, Mex Mexicans are incredibly industrious. And um, contrary to their horrible reputation in the United States, which is undeserved. They're the exact opposite. They're, they are incredibly industrious. And I, anyway, I saw this guy, and I was like, you know, if that was me, I would have hired someone to fix this. I would have uh, or replaced it or I would have just bought a new one or whatever it was. But this guy was fixing it. And I'm like, that's that's the Brad Sams of Mexico right there. <laughs> which is, it's just, he's just doing the work. Like, in other words, confronted by a technological product that does not work, I would have gone to Amazon immediately and just bought another one. But you have taken – you're going to spend time on this. Yeah. You've already made progress. You know, that's incredible. I mean, good for you. I, I wish I was that – I don't know what the right term is. Mechanical? I don't know what it is. It's good. Yeah. Did you ever take an engineering class? Like I flunked right out of this, you know, with the breadboards and the wires and all. You probably would have done great with that. Yeah, I probably should have. Instead, I went into accounting, which is... <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, well... You know. It's more numbers on a spreadsheet, but whatever. Yeah, yeah sure. I don't know. We'll see if we can get them fixed. If not, they'll at least live another life in the hands of my daughter, who I can assure you will treat them very well. I just, and not throw it's them or laudable them. on so many levels you're recycling you know you're keeping on with something that sort of doesn't work but it can still work and you know you're repurposing i'm serious it's great it's a very it's a nice it's a good so way to can do. i make a whole bunch of our readers real angry real quick yeah or listeners whatever mm -hmm. so my daughter actually has a pair of surface headphone twos yeah fully functional and she knew that I was struggling and she was watching this and she's like, daddy, do you want to use these? And I said, no, no, no. I want to use something that's good. Right. <laughs> Which somebody's going to be like, but they sound great. They do. But I, I know, implore stop. you yeah. to go grab a pair of Sony XM4s, 5s, whatever pair you want. This and... is like saying <laughs> a Corolla is a fine vehicle. Yes, it is. Have you ever set foot in a Ferrari? Because right. Like, it, keep it in the it same way. There. It's, these are the Lexus of the toyota brand like they are yeah the yeah. noise canceling on the sony's is the best in the industry it's better than bose now i think bose probably has better noise like actually the music sounds better like, on some of the bose oh okay but the yeah. noise canceling on the sony's i think is still better than the bose okay. yeah i know they're both right up there i, I yeah. think they're right up there in both ways you know I, I don't know i don't use either so i'm just basing on yeah. things i read but yeah they're both right at the top yeah yeah they're good yep. but anyways uh, you can tell that Microsofts are great because they keep shipping new versions of them. I mean, the earbuds <laughs> had a good week in the sun. Those uh, are gone. They? they look like those earrings that people stick into yeah, their earlobes that's... and make their earlobes huge. Whatever those are called. Yeah, the headphones. I mean, the headphones had great. The, the audio controls on the headphones were probably the mm -hmm. best. Uh, the Sony's headphone controls are garbage. But the turning the dials, that was fantastic. But then they just. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Think they should have called that a digital crown. Speaking of crowns, that's on tonight, isn't it? There's an Apple event tonight? I Wow. Yes, and that was quite a segue. Uh, yes, there is an <laughs> Apple event tonight. And I, as people have been pointing out, this is like the first time, right? Like a nighttime? Yeah, spooky fast or something like that. I, I thought they were going to go spooky pricing, but that was... Uh, they'll be both, Brad. It's Apple, yeah, I know. But, uh, it's... Yeah. An M3. They should have a BMW on stage. You'd be like, look, we know you like this M3 from back in your childhood days, mm -hmm. like an E43 M3. This is they the should, new M3 for the The adult. little red, white, and blue logo, or whatever they use oh, for yeah. the M class cars. They should put that on the back of the MacBooks. It'd be nice. Yeah, I wonder if they had to, like, get permission from BMW. I know they're different. Are people going to confuse these, really? I. They're both driven by Pontius... Pompous... Yikes. Yeah. Well, there, <laughs> there is an elitism to both. Yes. I guess is the way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I was going to call it Pontius Pilot, but that's uh, not. Yeah, I, I, I stray from that one. But I mean, uh, they're both holy things or something. I don't know. <laughs> Cult followings. There we go. There it is.